Good afternoon, sports fans. Welcome to the 2005 Women's Beach Volleyball World Championship match. We are here for some volleyball today. I'm your host, Chip Jenkins. With me today, my Area 13 co-anchor, Roxy Roxanne. Welcome, Roxy. Say hi, hello. Hi, hi. Very nice to have you here. Roxy is the current and first, I might add, mm -hmm. ever 2005 Miss United States Volleyball Queen. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. you. Come on, what are you doing? Come on, pick it up, you pansies. Well, let's jump right into the game here. Looks like things are just about to get underway. All right, you in, since you are the visiting team, U.S. will call the coin toss. Heads or tails? Well, everybody says I'm good at both, <laughs> but I guess I'll go with head. <laughs> Mm, heads. <laughs> Everybody, let's play some volleyball! Okay, looks like the referee has just finished going over the rules with each coach. Let's see which of these two dominating teams is going to get the momentum going first today. Ooh, I like being dominated. Hello! I trained you nine months for coin toss! You know what? You lose coin toss, now your brother back in China, he lose the left hand. Volleyball! And look at them go. Roxy, as you can see, the uh, Chinese players have been moved to the back line. As you may recall in an exhibition match last year, the United States rolled over China like they were students at Tiananmen Square. No, 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 no. no we're, we're the Americans. Uh. Oh, do you believe in Farvignugan? That was the fierce and decidedly unattractive German star, Gretchen Uberdogen, ladies and gentlemen. She just slapped that ball like it was an insolent Jew. That's hot. <laughs> Actually, she's, she's kidding, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, a, a gay orangutan wouldn't mount that ugly woman, even if her butt was stuffed full of bananas. Ooh, looks like one of the Americans has come down with what appears to be a sudden yeast infection. No doubt thanks in large part to the uh, dark forces of the tribe of Nabutabingi. All right, girls. They may be up, but you're much hotter than they are. <laughs> now, we're in America, and all that matters is we look our best. So ladies, put on this tanning lotion and let your bodies glisten. Oh, now this, this is a strategic strategy here. Looks like the U.S. coach has unveiled their secret weapon. Well, I saw a secret weapon behind the bleachers, and I can tell why he keeps it secret. <laughs> Roxy, you wonderful, stupid whore. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what an astonishing turn of events. The United States team has just pulled ahead of the United Nations, simply by using their looks. Roxy, this just goes to show you what women are capable of accomplishing once they simply embrace the fact that they are objects. I mean, look, look what they can achieve. You know, with, with little to no male intervention. That girl has the same size breasts as me. Every time you speak, a, a little part of me dies. My e two flea balls here! Smear enough! It's Thanks for joining us for another great day of championship volleyball. Until next time, I'm Chip Jenkins, and these, this, is Roxy Roxanne. Buy my new clothing line. You and your capitalist ways. Get away from me. I'm Chip Jenkins. I'm Roxy. My show? Oh, um... My, our show is... Um, my show is better than your show. Hers is better than all of ours. <laughs>